you're out with your camera, you're taking some pictures, everything's great, got some good stuff, heading home, pop that stuff open, it's not so good. Well, today we're talking about how to change that, how to turn that garbage into gold. Let's do it. Hey guys, so we're here in Lightroom and we're just talking about what happens when you, you know, see something cool, you take a picture and it doesn't really turn out the way you, you envisioned it or you wanted it to and you know that could be a million different reasons maybe you know, the light wasn't there maybe uh, you know the ISO like in this case was super high and you know, the quality is not there maybe just compositionally you you know you botched it and it doesn't mean it can it has to be ruined um, you just you got to think outside the box maybe push your comfort zone a little bit and today we're going to just go over a few examples of how you might be able to save or uh, turn something kind of crappy into something cool so let's just get right into it here's one that uh, I took uh, a couple days ago it was you know uh, the light was not good obviously 6400 ISOs pushing it and um, you know I thought it was a cool scene um, but it definitely didn't turn out the way I wanted it to I didn't have my tripod and I just kind of snapped it um, so I got home and uh, the lines to me are nice and I wanted to see if I could do something with it so obviously as is I, I don't like it let's just make a few changes over here let's, um, let's let's drop the shadows let's just tip bring the shadows right down let's bring the blacks right down let's bring it down let's let's kind of think about maybe inverting it a bit and see where we can go with it so you know drop those shadows all the way down um, Let's bump that saturation right away. We can see some of the colors in the sky start in the water there start to come back. Some of the reds and the blue of the sky. And then maybe let's uh, let's think about getting rid of some of that that grass there and really just black out everything but this cool cool stream, this cool river here. And you know, to me, that's already better than the than the original. Maybe clean up some of the water here with the with the, uh, the clone tool, whatever you like to use. Nice and simple. To me, that's a that's a lot more interesting of a picture right there. That's kind of something that I might, yeah, you know, even put on the wall. It's different. It's it's got a kind of a fine art aspect to it, and we can see before and after and just how significant. And what does that take? Thirty seconds it took to to kind of do that. But you got to get out of your comfort zone. You know, if you're doing the same style of editing every time, maybe, you know, try something different. Look at your presets over here. Maybe, you know, pick a preset and see, you know, what, what it might do for it, you know. There you go. There's a mat. You throw the mat on and uh, kind of make that bit more faded look. Keep the saturation if you like it, you know, that kind of thing. So there's a million things you could do, but just get out of your comfort zone. And you know, we'll, we'll check out another example here. Here's one that I, I shot. We were downtown the other day and I just missed this dog that had peed on this pole right over here and I was kind of choked, but you know, just snapping away. And um, you know, not, not a great picture in, in any regard, but I, you know, I don't get to go downtown too often. So I thought, why not try and do something fun out of it? And um, here's kind of what I came up with when I got back. And you know, I really just desaturated it just to save us some time here. and. Um, you know black and white halved it and had a bit of the reds and the color pop and the dog there and and then threw some grain on you know put the shadows uh, down a bit and um, here we are so you can see again you know kind of comparing the two it's like night and day and you know it didn't take a lot of time it's just something different you try a couple different styles and that's really how you can you know just take a, a, a a bad picture or not so good picture and and just kind of turn it and make it your own so that's kind of what I did and that's kind of what I do and I look for I don't like to waste a picture if you saw something in that moment you know it was probably worth taking a picture you know and I try more and more to, to try and take less and less pictures to really think about what I'm taking a picture of and you know one of the first things I ask myself is you know would this win an award would I hang this on my wall you know, would I put this on Instagram? Like that kind of thing. Otherwise, you know, 
uh, unless you're just getting started you know take a picture of everything see what works what doesn't just experiment and that's what you know this is all about it's about having fun and just experimenting so that's pretty much it for this guy super quick and simple and you know just a few techniques of of what you can do presets are a great way to experiment with new things and really try and see if you haven't found your you know your editing style or a style that you really love you know maybe consider looking at some of the, the, the presets that they have here they, they come with a bunch of them and you know see what you like go on uh, get inspiration from guys on here from from Instagram from you know from all over the place and just kind of work with that but you know if you did see something originally in the picture there's probably something there Well, that's it guys thanks so much for watching i hope you learned something if you did maybe consider giving me a like and a subscribe and i challenge you to take a look through your pictures see if there's something you can't bring back or recover be creative with it and like always of course make mistakes be yourself get out there and take some pictures see you next time guys